Hi guys, so for the last 12 or 18 months we've been bringing you a whole variety of different videos regarding smartphones, tablets and accessories from unboxings to hands-on to reviews. Now we have had previously a pretty basic setup but uh, we've recently moved into new offices and we're lucky enough to have what we're calling our dedicated video room where we can take the footage and edit the content and bring that to you through our YouTube channel and through our blog. So we thought we'd give you a little tour. It's not as impressive as some setups, but perhaps a bit more comprehensive than others. So we thought we'd show you what we actually use. Now we're not gonna run through full tech specs of everything that we actually use because we could be here all day, um, but hopefully you can look it up with some of the product names and stuff that we give you. So starting with the walls, uh, on the three of the four walls in this room, we've actually lined it with um, foam. So it's this sort of eggshell uh, foam designed to knock out some of the high tones and make it a little bit more soundproof in here and knock out some of the background sound. It's not gonna do everything, but it certainly helps. The downside to this with the lights, it does keep the heat in and it can get very hot in here. So moving across to the main sort of setup that we've got here, this is our main desk with all our video equipment. Under the desk, we have um, some boxes with demo devices, dummy machines, power cables, you name it, we've got it all in there. Now you can see there's a variety of things on the desk here. So sat at the back there, we've got a late 2008 IMAX that's used for a little bit of video editing and processing, bring out some content when we're researching products, etc. We've then dressed the table with um, a variety of boxes and items that we have used in the past and to give a little bit more of a nicer background for you to actually look at. Then sat in the foreground here, we've got a 2013 MacBook Pro, that's the 13 inch model with Retina display. Now that is where we do the majority of our actual editing. So Russ, who's behind the camera, that's his personal uh, device and he does the majority of editing um, from that. So on the desk, as we mentioned, we've got the uh, contents in the background there. You can see one of our old sort of filming boards that's got our logo on it. So sometimes we put that down on the desk as a backing. Over towards the back here, we've got a Horge little dolly, so that's for doing some of our panning shots. We sit the camera on top of that and move that around. We've then got a fairly basic sort of Polaroid uh, pull-out device here for actually taking um, vlogs and things, and then we've got a little uh, mount there for smartphones. We also have a bigger one for tablets as well. Then this is the sort of setup we use for our main unboxings and hands-on. So this is a Panasonic HTC SD90. Uh, it's got autofocus, zoom controls, and this is really good because it autofocuses quite quickly. We can attach a 3D lens, but we never use that. And then we've got this mounted on a uh, Manfrotto arm, which is really uh, useful. We'll just give you a quick demo here. We can move the arm and we can move this all about and manipulate it into lots of different positions. Um, this retails for around about 100, 130 pounds, I think, um, but it's really quite a good um, arm and gives a lot of versatility. So we've got free space when we're actually doing the unboxings and stuff. So then into this, we've obviously got connected power uh, and then we've got an HDMI cable out. And this actually goes into uh, the monitor we have at the back there. And that's an AOC monitor. It's 23 inches and it's got uh, MHL connectivity. The actual model is the 12369VM. It's got an IPS panel. Now we're not too bothered about that high-end tech. The MHL is definitely a benefit for when we're testing products, um, but it's nice to be able to actually see very easily on the big screen what you're recording, what it's coming out like, whether it's in frame, rather than using the Panasonic small screen. Then up at the back here, we've just got a boom arm uh, and that's what we connect um, a variety of different microphones we use to uh, actually complete our recording on. And then the monitor itself is actually mounted on a fairly basic tilt and swivel arm there. We then use a variety of lights. So these are just available from any good um, photography store or online, Amazon, eBay, etc. So we've got a few of those in our actual setup and we can control the lighting quite well. Now down on the side here, we try and keep this as clear as possible, but we have products that are waiting unboxing demonstrations. So here we've got some Foscam uh, products that we're currently testing and due to unbox. 
you can see here we've got a variety of different tripods uh, that we use for different things when we're out of the office taking photos. So we've got a Nikon D3100, so that's mainly used for taking stills. Uh, in the back there you can see we've got another couple of tripods and a light stand with um, LED light configuration. The camera we're actually recording this on is a Canon. 600D. This is our sound booth and this is where we record uh, the majority of our voice sound overs. So popped in the back here we've got an Audio-Technica AT2020 and that's connected with an XLR cable which goes down to a phantom power supply uh, which we can connect into our cameras. Back up on the sound booth we then have a pop filter that we put in front of the microphone just to knock out some of the sounds and then we've got a sound booth here again with foam lining to sort of knock out some sounds and things like that and help get crisper clearer audio. Up on the top here we've just got a 160 LED uh, light which helps for sort of reading in darker conditions we can turn that on, adjust the brightness. This is all uh, detachable and easily moved and we can uh, move that about uh, for different setups and the Audio Technica often moves across to the desk for unboxings. We've then got uh, another one of our lights. You can see in the back here we've got some other filming boards that we actually use. And then sort of at the back of the shot here we've got a Lencarta pop-up tent. So that is for taking some product photography that pops up uh, like a pop-up tent. Then over in the sort of far corner we've got a sort of set of basic drawers really that contains all different things here. So we've got boxes and things again we may be testing. We've got a Joby Gorilla Pod. Uh, got a little tool here for helping us uh, do autofocus and manual focus on the camera. Now there's nothing too exciting in the drawers but it's mainly sort of cables and things we may use. We've got a whole host of sort of dummy devices we do for hardware comparisons and things like that. So I won't bore you with the contents of what's in there but there's other camera lenses and stuff. And then just in the corner here we've got a little slider which will mount on top of a tripod or sit on a desktop and we can use this for sort of panning shots uh, when doing reviews, things like that. Then lastly, we've just got a um, pop-up stand really. So you may have seen in some of our earlier vlogs, it just pulls up and that's got our logo and some other logos on it. Uh, and we also take that if we go to some uh, impromptu events, things like that. So that's a quick room tour uh, of our video room here at Clove. It's constantly developing throughout 2014 and in the coming years. We'll bring you updates as and when it really changes dramatically. We've hoped you enjoyed it. Leave your feedback below. Many thanks.